Jonas Wood paints Red Studio for the 21st century. This is a painting which marks his pushing forward of the innovations in color, shape, and space. For Wood, in this painting, there is no division between art history and day-to-day -day life. Jonas Wood's red pot with white blouse is a remarkable investigation into some of the most important themes and visual subjects of Jonas Wood's work. In this painting, Wood collapses some of his most important thematic and conceptual touch points, from the entire legacy of art history through to the domestic life of his day-to-day -day setting in Los Angeles. Jonas Wood reinterprets the most important motifs and visual iconography that has occupied him for his entire career. In this image, Wood appropriates one of the most important modern masters, his key artistic influence, Henri Matisse. He's referencing two paintings from the Centre Pompidou in Paris, large red interior and the Romanian blouse. Matisse painted the Romanian blouse, or Le Blues Romain, over the course of six months from October 1939 to November 1940. In a famous exhibition at Gallery Mag in Paris in 1945, Matisse exhibited the painting Le Blues Romain in a very deliberate didactic presentation. Surrounding the painting were 11 large frame photographs which documented his reductive approach. Matisse photographed his process of first fully painting details of the sitter's hair and face, flowered background and printed motifs in the blue skirt, then gradually removed these details by scraping away or painting over. What is most notable for the Matisse painting that dominates Woods' red pot is that large red interior, painted in 1948, was the very last canvas Matisse completed before he turns to his paper cutouts. The bright cadmium red background of the large red interior is populated by Matisse's own flower pots and decor. I love that Jonas Wood chose the Pompidou Romanian blouse and inserted this as a painting hanging in the background of the Pompidou large red interior with another homage to Matisse's practice, putting his painting within his painting. Wood sets Matisse's Romanian blouse within a scene that is occupied within his own wife, Shio Kusaka's large, oversized pots, here set flat against a light gray background. 
In the painting, Matisse's work is interspersed with still life's table and various visual accoutrements that occupy Wood's home and studio in LA. What's fascinating in this work is how, in his own way, Wood adopts so many of Matisse's innovations when it comes to modern art. His innovative interplay of composition, form, shape, color, pattern, and line all compress into one perspectival plane. This image brings depth completely to the fore, evoking Matisse's own inventions in color and space. Wood takes as a particular touch point here Matisse's famed red studio painting, in which Matisse took his own environment, his own artistic studio, and collapsed it into an entirely flat picture plane through the use of this vibrant red color. Wood assembles paintings almost like a collagist, really bringing a variety of different influences, inspirations, and clips into the same picture plane. In this way, he evokes Matisse's own style of cutouts and clippings that he would do towards the end of his life, in which Matisse would bring different shapes of color and paper together, gluing and pasting them together to create really radical inventions in modern art. This is the first example of the Matisse pot paintings to come to auction and really marks an important turning point in not only Jonas Wood's own career as a painter, but in his legacy as one of the most important innovators in contemporary art today. Red Pot with White Blouse will be offered in the Now Evening Auction this May and is one of the most important Jonas Wood paintings to come to market in recent history. For every artist, there is that one artwork that best represents the core of their artistic project. For Bourgeois, it is the spiders. Elegant, alien, and utterly spellbinding, Louise Bourgeois' monumental spiders stand amongst the most iconic sculptural series of the 20th century. Executed in 1996, the present spider is an early iteration of the subject that has become the artist's most enduring and familiar motif. Today, these towering spiders are key highlights of museum collections all over the world, from the looming iteration Maman outside the Guggenheim Museum Bilbao and the Tate Modern in London, to a national gallery, and more. Despite the looming scale and heft of its bronze silhouette, Bourgeois' spider is a creature of lithe grace and exquisite, uncanny beauty. Perfectly balanced on eight delicately arched legs, the spider appears poised for motion, but to the viewer below, her purpose, predatory or protective, is unknown. This tension between allure and anxiety reflects the concerns at the very heart of Bourgeois' project, an unflinching investigation of the human experience and psyche translated into sculptural form. Within Bourgeois' highly personal artistic lexicon, the spider serves as a stand-in for the artist's own mother, who was a skilled tapestry restorer. Contemplative and methodical, the art of weaving and threading tapestries was a cherished and tender act shared between Bourgeois and her mother, Josephine. Her mother's passing in 1932 was a trauma that informed the entirety of Bourgeois' artistic practice as she sought to negotiate that loss and their relationship through her sculptural creations. Emerging in her early drawings of the 1940s, Bourgeois did not translate her signature motif into sculpture until the mid-1990s, when they quickly matured, 
spanning greater scales and becoming increasingly intricate and technically complex. Today, these sculptures stand alongside such works as Giacometti's Femme de Venise, Rancuzzi's Mademoiselle Pogany, and the Nike of Samothrace, representing Bourgeois' most important contribution to art history and the sculptural canon. This spider was first exhibited in the year of its execution at the 23rd Biennale di Sao Paolo, which is the second oldest art biennale in the world following Venice. There, Bourgeois was honored with a dedicated salon and was also the creator of the logo for the Biennale, a delicate red spiral that is echoed in the spiraling body of the spider's core. Spider was then acquired by the prestigious Fundación Itaú that same year and has been held in the collection ever since, exhibited both at the Sao Paulo Museum of Modern Art as well as loaned and exhibited extensively across esteemed institutions in South America. The artist's singular masterwork, Bourgeois' spider is the ultimate testament to the enduring appeal of her work, her limitless capacity to provoke awe and to capture the most fundamental of human emotions in sculptural form. With magnetic allure, her spider draws us almost irresistibly forward. To glimpse its looming silhouette is to be drawn into the sheltering embrace of its long and many-legged shadow. Nicole Eisenman's Night Studio from 2009 is one of the most significant and celebrated works by one of the most significant and celebrated artists of their generation. By the time this work is painted, Eisenman is painting with the whole weight of art history behind them. And in this work, they take and they subvert and they create something completely new and completely human, using all of that history and all of that precedent to their advantage. Taking its title from Philip Guston's celebrated memoir, the present work sees two figures entwined on a daybed, suspended in a starry sky in a world of their own. The painting comprises a cornucopia of reference. From the dreamlike and surreal in Henri Rousseau or Max Ernst to masters of figuration in Paul Gauguin and Peter Doig, through to older influences such as the Byzantine masters. The pose of the two figures recalls Henri Toulouse-Lautrec or Gustave Courbet, and the stacks of trompe d'oeil books show the breadth of Eisenman's influence. There's something of Lucian Freud in this tilted perspective, which has the figures almost toppling out towards the viewer. Similarly, there's something of Cezanne or the Cubists, in again that tilt, but then the grounding device of the bottom ledge of the painting. The beer bottle, the cigarettes, the pile of books, the tangle of wire, all of these sit as if balanced on the bottom of the painting, and yet the painting itself misbehaves. The tripod legs of the spotlight go beyond into a space that shouldn't exist. The outstretched foot of the yellow figure transgresses the left edge of the canvas, and the spotlight itself not only illuminates the figures on the daybed, but also the sky behind them. There's this underlying discomfort, and therein lies Nicole Eisenman's compositional genius. The paintings are unsettling, they're strange, and they are compelling. And it's exactly those plays with perspective and plays with color that see them attain the mastery that you see in this work. It's very tempting to map all these art historical influences, but ultimately, when we first approach this painting, it is not the art historical reference that intrigues and captures us. The focal point is extraordinary tension between the two central figures. One of the figures is confident and at ease with their sexuality, and the other is almost paralyzed by it, burrowing these rigid limbs into the daybed below. It's that moment just before. It's the precipice, the point of no return. This juxtaposition creates this cocktail of excitement, of anxiety, of anticipation, of ecstasy, and altogether creates something 
universally relatable and undeniably human. Coming close to the painting, we're struck by how heavily worked the surface is. There's almost a violence to Eisenman's application here. On the figures, the paint has been repeatedly applied and then repeatedly scraped back. They almost look scarred by the process of creation. And the depiction of the skin itself is gossamer thin. There is this proximity between the viewer and the subject as though we're able to look through them. I first saw this painting in 2016 when it was the centerpiece of Eisenman's celebrated retrospective at the New Museum in New York. Since then, the work has been widely exhibited, having been shown in their recent traveling retrospective around Europe, which went from Switzerland to Germany and to France. Nicole Eisenman casts this unique shadow over contemporary artistic production. There are so many artists working today who are looking towards this boundary-pushing, revolutionary oeuvre, which ultimately, for all the references and all the grotesquerie and all the awkwardness, is fundamentally extraordinarily human. What is passion? It moves us to give, to preserve, to build. It ignites creativity, discovery, pursuit. It is the spark behind remarkable collections and pushes us to rethink what's possible every day. Sotheby's Financial Services empowers you to leverage the value of your collection and open a world of opportunities. Opportunities to seize the coveted, make the most of a legacy, pursue what matters most to you. Open a world of opportunities. Unlock the power of your passion. The amazing thing about this painting is that it really distills perhaps all of Richter's most rigorous conceptual and avant-garde aesthetic picture making. At this critical moment of 1974, he's experimenting with a wide range of different influences in his painting, having come out of his extraordinary black and white photorealist paintings. I'm extraordinarily excited today to talk about Gerhard Richter's monumental and ultimately avant-garde masterpiece, 4096 Farben, painted in 1974 as the absolute apogee of his colour chart series. Richter is arguably one of the most inventive, Machiavellian even, and most rigorous painters of the last 50 or 60 years. For any collector who is interested in buying truly a museum quality work, this presents a singular opportunity. This is one of the few works 
which we've handled in recent history, which has the most profound museum retrospective and ultimately has been exhibited in so many key Gerhard Richter exhibitions over the years. It is a fundamentally important painting, not only in the Colour Child series, but I think in all of Richter's output. This painting, in fact, appears on the cover of volume two of the famous Gerhard Richter catalogue resume prepared by Detmar Elger. It's equally the painting upon which Richter's memorable commission for the stained glass window of Cologne Cathedral was identically based on this very picture. When he first started this series, it was very deliberately about not only using a ready-made color chart, but then developing this series using algorithmic data and getting away from the idea that artists who were gestural abstract artists were almost divine. This painting is the amalgamation of three very distinct phases of color chart theory. The Gerhard Richter started in 1966 and concluded indeed with this picture in 1974, which brought to an end this very scientific, very rationalized form of abstraction using simple, pure color, but in highly designed algorithmic type patterns to create these extraordinary color field environments. The process of making this artwork is based firstly on a very strong, conceptual, rigorous basis. In the first case, you have the colour field painting, just a basic industrial colour chart in a paint shop, which he then adopts and uses in a ready-made, pop art manner, just to replicate something that exists in the physical world. That series starts in 1966, and then in 1971, Richter rigorously reapplies the theory and starts to mix his own colours in a number of paint colours or individual shades up to about 192, but with these very distinct white borders isolating each particular square of colour. In 1973, the third and final part of this extraordinary colour chart development, he develops even greater range of colouring, up to 1024. He wanted to make sure that the number was divisible by four to make sure that the scale of the painting came out with a very specific definition. But in this picture, you've got the ultimate realization of this theory by presenting four batches of 1,024 in this final 4,096 ultimatum, if you like. They're very specifically applied without any borders between them. What you see is very minimal contact from the artist's hand. It's almost as if it's been machine made. And in fact, it almost looks like modern day digital art. In that respect, it actually pre-envisages much of the digital art that we're seeing today. There are, in fact, only 14 pictures that measure 2 meters 50 and above in a format like this. 11 of those pictures by Gerhard Richter are indeed in museums. And when one stands in front of this picture, all one can feel is a great interaction with pure color, pure abstraction, pure aesthetic rationalization as well as one is enveloped by the pure form and plasticity of this picture, as well as the force of Richter's imagination. Sotheby's has the privilege of handling this picture as one of the great highlights of our forthcoming contemporary art sale in New York on the 18th of May. From a distance, the image almost looks as real as a photograph, but it's the subtleties of Selman's surface and her touch that reassert the artist's hand. Looking at night sky, we're drawn into an abstraction of real space, an image that seemingly expands beyond the canvas into unknown infinite dimensions. Via Selman's mesmerizing Night Sky Number 21 from 2009 to 2013 is among the most successful expressions of the artist's practice. Rendering a densely starry sky in carefully applied layers of oil paint worked over a period of four years. The painting represents a rare and highly engaging example of her works on canvas. 
Night Sky number 21 showcases Selman's intricate layering of paint to capture the infinite vastness of space. Selman's produced only a limited number of night sky paintings on canvas, most of which are museum collections. The Art Institute of Chicago, the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, the Museum for Modern Art in Frankfurt, and the Museum of Modern Art in New York. What makes this example really stand out for me within the series is not only its remarkable scale, but the incredible density of the star field. There are so many flickering stars of differing shapes and sizes suspended here in Selman's cosmos, which gives the painting a real brightness and a spatial depth that is truly riveting. Via Selman's emerged as an artist in the formative period of the 1960s against the backdrop of action and color field painting and the simultaneous emergence of pop and conceptual art. From the very beginning of her career, Selman set herself apart from her peers. It was her firm commitment to draftsmanship and an emphasis on the hand of the artist that made her unique. This was a moment when the very nature of authorship and the artist's hand was in question. Her early photorealist paintings of household objects in the 60s were often compared to the work of Gerhard Richter, and they served as an important foundation for her technical mastery that would define her work for decades to come. Throughout her career, Selmans has frequently returned to the same motifs, ocean waves, desert sands, and of course, the night sky, in a meticulous and meditative process. The artist created her first pictures of the night sky using charcoal or graphite on paper, but Night Sky Number 21 is really a testament to her return to painting on canvas that began in the 1980s. Here, you can see how Selman's layers of velvety blacks atop one another, painting and sanding multiple and multiple layers. She then applies liquid cement on the surface to only scrape it away, revealing scattered pinpricks of glowing stars. This labor-intensive process becomes, in itself, a meditation on time, further representing her fascination with the infinite expanses, such as oceans and skies. It's really the night sky which has occupied Selman's visual imagination for decades and really resounds as the ultimate expression of what she's trying to capture. Yoshi Tomonara is one of the most exciting and well-known artists working at the turn of the 21st century. And in this painting, we really see his mature style and what he's become most famous for on full display. And this is Yoshi Tomonara's 1998 Haze Days, which we're very excited to be offering in our now evening auction this May. This painting is one of the earliest works that characterizes Nara's mature and best-known style in a large format. These post-1996 canvases in Nara's mature, painterly style are extremely rare. To quantify them, Nara made only 23 canvases in this scale, that is, 50 inches or larger, between 1996 and 2000. In the painting, a puddle of liquid envelops a young child, a rosy cheek with very penetrating eyes. They're submerged in a milky, dreamlike atmosphere, looking off defiantly and vulnerably into the distance. The glowing, pearly background in Hayes Days has since become a very important feature of the artist's work. It is achieved through highly skilled brushwork and repeated layering. The juxtaposition of the lustrous and ambiguous emptiness of the background with the solidity of the figure create a complex aura and a metaphor for our own smallness in a vastly alienating world. Nara accomplishes this narrative through his painterly skill and through his inventiveness, which is a true testament to the artist as he uses minimal narrative, minimal composition, and minimal pictorial framework to convey all of these emotions in the painting. The painting is playful, it's rebellious, but it's also otherworldly, and it invites the viewer to explore their own imagination. We are confronted by the depth of the painting, the glowering scrutiny, the gaze of the child, the disguise of childhood charm, which all serve as a mirror for our own adulthood. 
It is not just the rarity of this painting, its early date, and larger-than-life dimensions that makes it special. Its execution is flawless. The tiny but mighty heroine in an ethereal emotive halo, the pale pastel hues in Nara's signature painterly style are iconic.
Hello, good evening, and welcome to Sotheby's New York. My name is Michael McCauley, and it is my great pleasure to be your auctioneer for the first of tonight's sales, the Now Evening Auction. As those of you who are familiar with the Now Auction format will know, these sales are focused on showcasing artists who are absolutely of the moment. This season, we'll be presenting works by some of today's greatest talents. Among them, Nicole Eisenman, Simone Lee, David Hammonds, George Kondo, Henry Taylor, and of course, many more. We are also excited that tonight's sale is presented in partnership with French luxury house Celine. Following the sale, I will hand over to my colleague, Oliver Barker, who will be your auctioneer for the contemporary evening auction. Before we begin, a few announcements. As noted in our conditions of business for buyers, everything is sold under the authenticity guarantee and on an as-is basis. As your auctioneer, I may open the bidding on the lot by placing a bid on behalf of the seller. The auctioneer and Sotheby's representatives may continue to bid by placing responsive or consecutive bids for a lot up to the amount of the reserve, or if there is, is an irrevocable bid on the lot, up to the amount of the irrevocable bid. Buyer's premium and overhead premium will be added to the hammer price of each lot offered, and applicable sales tax will be due on the aggregate of the three figures as part of the total purchase price payable. Please refer to the online sale catalogue for further information regarding lots with guarantees and irrevocable bids. Please also refer to our conditions of business for our full terms of sale. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to welcome you here on this lovely spring evening. Thank you very much for coming. And we're going to start here proceedings this evening with lot one by Justin Kagiat. To the approach of beauty, his body is fungible. Only the second work by the artist to ever come to auction. Showing here on the easel. Thank you very much indeed. And I'm going to start the bidding here at only 100,000, 110,000, 120, 130. I took it here with Ashkan first at 150, 180 with Jackie, 200 with Nicole at 200, 220 at 220 with Ashkan. He'll say 250. It's at $220,000. 250 with Peter Kloman. Thank you. 280. Thank you. In the room. Thank you so much, madam. 300. Lovely to see you at 300. 350. Back to you, Ashkan. 380. At 380, lady in the room. At 380,000. Not yours for now, Ashkan. Next will be 400, please. At 380,000 dollars. At 380,000. In a new place. Thank you, Ottilie. At 400. 420. Back to you, Ottilie. Will you say 450? This beautiful canvas by Justin. At 400. And 20,000 dollars. Not yours, Ottilie. Not yours, Ashkan, for now. 450. Over to you, Ottilie. At 450. And in a new place, Lucius at 480, 500. At 500 in the room against you all at $500,000, Ottilie. 520, I'll take. At $520,000, back to you, Lucius Elliott. Head of the now sale, of course. At 520,000 here, 550 would be next. 550, thank you, madam. At 550,000. 580. At 580 now. Thank you very much indeed. Anyway, at 580, it's still yours, Lucius. It's not yours, Ottilie. It's not yours, Ashkan. At $580,000, are you coming back, Ottilie? 600,000, yes, you are. Thank you very much indeed. At 600,000, back to you, Lucius. 620. $620,000 here on my left with Lucius Elliott. Not yours for now, Ottilie. At $620,000. At $620,000, you sure? Fireworks already on lot one at 620,000. Here with Lucius. Not yours for now, Ottilie. Against the rest of you in your room. It's now or never. Last chance. Selling here to Lucius for $620,000. Sold. Congratulations. 240. 240th paddle. Thank you very much indeed. And that is a new record for the artist. Congratulations, Lucius. And now we move on to lot two. The vibrant and visually charged A Toast 2, showing here, by Jade Fadujatimi, of course, whose work was a highlight of last year's Central Pavilion exhibition at the Venice Biennale. And I have some absentee interest here, so I can start already at 380, 420, 450, 480, 500 here in the book already with me at 5, 550 with Max, 600 with Alex. I took it there, 650 in the room. Who's saying 700? I've took 700 with you, Max. Would you like 750, sir? 750, I took it with Nick just ahead of you. Would you like 800? 
at 750 with Nick Daimel. Thank you very much anyway, at $750,000 with Nick's telephone bidder here on my left at 750,000. Any advance? Alex, are you out? Max, are you thinking about it? $750,000 here with Nick's telephone bidder against you all in the room and indeed online at $750,000. With you still, Nick. Max looks like you hung up. $750,000, thank you very much anyway, with Nick Dimel then, against everybody else, fair warning, and I'm selling it then to you, Nick, for $750,000. Sold, thank you very much indeed. That goes to Paddle 233. Thank you and well done to them. Let's turn now to, literally turn, lot three, Night Studio, this beautiful painting. A vivid and tender canvas by celebrated American painter Nicole Eisenman showing here. And I'm going to start the bidding here at only $650,000, $700,000, $750,000 only, 850000 thank you, Ashkan at 850000 at 850000 already here with Ashkan. It gets the rest of you, 900000 thank you, James. Say 950 dollars Ashkan, it's at 900 with James Sevier, it's at 900 still with you, James, at 900 at 900 against the rest of you, 950 here with Lucius. One million dollars. Thank you so much, Brooke. It's yours at one million dollars. At one million dollars. It's one million one against you all now. At one million one. Not yours, James. Not yours, Lucius. It's at one million one hundred. One million two. Thank you, Lucius. It's yours now. At one million two. And one million three. At one million three hundred thousand. One million four. Thank you very much, Brooke. It's yours now. At one million four. At one million four hundred thousand. With Brooke Lampley. One five. Back to you, Lucius. James, are you out? One six. Back to Brooke at 1.6 here, at 1,600,000, with Brooke's telephone bid, as you can see, playing well, here on my right, north side of the room, at 1,600,000, not yours for now, Lucius, at 1,600,000, and 1,700,000, it's not yours, at 1,700,000, 1,800,000, I took it with Brooke, at 1,800,000, ahead of you, Alex, at 1,800,000, at 1,800,000, it is with Brooke Lampley, say 1,900,000. At 1,800,000, it is Brooke's bid. At 1,800,000, are you going on, Lucius? At 1,800,000. At 1,800,000. Lucius? At 1,800,000. Fair warning? At 1,800,000. Quite sure, Lucius? No regrets? At 1,800,000 for the Eisenman. Here on the easel. At 1,800,000. I can't miss you, Alex. 1,900,000. Thank you very much indeed. At 1,900,000. It is now yours. At 1,900,000. With Alex Branchik. All the way from Hong Kong. At 1,900,000. It's your bid, Alex. Against you, Brooke. Against you, Lucius. Against you, Lisa. At 1,900,000. Are we all through? $2 million. Here with Lisa Denison. At $2 million. Alex, what should we do? It's at $2 million. Here on my left with Lisa Dennison at $2 million. Any further advance? At $2 million. Here with Lisa. Thank you for your patience. Alex, happily take 2-1. Shake of the head. Thank you very much anyway. At $2 million, still yours, Lisa. Not yours, Lucius. Not yours, Alex. Not yours, Brooke. For now. Thank you very much indeed. Against the rest of you. And selling then for a new record for the artist for $2 million. Sold. Thank you very much indeed. Battles 209. Congratulations to them. Next is lot four. Showing here in the room, as you can all see. Henry Taylor's from Congo to the ca capital and black again. I'm sure you've all widely admired it. And the galleries downstairs, which recently starred in the artist's largest exhibition to date at the Museum of Contemporary Art, Los Angeles. Please note that this lot will be available co for collection before June 30th. It won't be available for collection before June 30th. As a result, the buyer will not be invoiced for payment until that date. But it is very much for sale, and we're selling it here and now. And I'm going to start the bidding here at 
$950,000, at $800,000, $850,000, $850,000, $850,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000, $950,000
230,000, I'll take it, Max, you've come all the way from Hong Kong. At $230,000, it's over to you. Would you like 240? 240, thank you very much indeed. At 240, back to you, Max. At $240,000, it's not yours. 250, thank you very much. Got there in the end. Yes, 260? Thank you very much. 260,000. At 260,000 in the room. Against you, Max, would you say 270? At 260, it's not yours. At 260,000. 270. At 270,000. Yes. At, thank you very much. At 280. Back in the room, Max. Not yours for now. Nick, are you still thinking about it? At $280,000 in the room. Max? At 280,000. It's not yours for now. At 280. 290. 300. Thank you. Anyway, at 300. Back to you, Nick. Are we, we out? At $300,000, against the rest of you in the room and indeed online, at $300,000. Fair warning then, and I'm selling it to you, madam, for $300,000. Sold. Thank you very much indeed. Paddle 2320. Which takes us to lot seven, Las Meninas 2, by Simone Lee whose work is the subject of a major touring retrospective, as I'm sure you all know, which opened last month at Boston's Institute of Contemporary Art. And I'm going to start here. It's all the core, of course, at $2,100,000, at $2,100,000, million, $2 million two, at $2,200,000, million two, and $2,300,000, million then at $2,300,000, million at $2,300,000, million $2,400,000, million I have it already at two four. Will you say two five? It's at two four. At two four. To five. Thank you very much. With Brooke Lampley here on my right at $2,500,000. And selling at $2,500,000. With Brooke's telephone bidder at two five. Is that a bid? At $2,500,000. At $2,500,000. At $2,500,000 for the gorgeous Simone Lee at $2,500,000. Are we all through? Fair warning then. Selling to you, Brooke, for $2,500,000. Sold. Congratulations. That goes to Paddle 215. Thank you very much indeed. Congratulations to them. Next up, Lot 8. Untitled, Mask Boy by Kerry James Marshall. A standout example of the artist's sophisticated reappraisal of traditional portraiture and engagement with race and representation. Showing here on the easel. Thank you very much indeed. I'm going to start bidding here at three million six hundred thousand, at three million six, three million seven, at three million seven, three million eight, and three million eight, at three million nine. Thank you very much indeed. At three million nine, at three million nine, and four million. It's not yours, David, for now. At four, at four million dollars, at four million, at four million, at four million dollars, at four million dollars, four million one. Thank you very much indeed. At four million one, four million two. It's not yours. At four two. At four two. At four two now. At four two. Four four. Four four. Thank you very much indeed. At four million four hundred thousand. At four million four hundred thousand. At four million four. And four million six hundred thousand now, David. At four million six. Four million six. I will take four million seven hundred thousand. Thank you very much, David. At four million seven hundred thousand with David Galperin. It's yours now at $4,700,000 against the rest of you in the room and online, the rest of you on the telephones. Simon, you're coming in at $4,700,000. It's with you, David. At $4,700,000. We all threw fair warning and selling then to you, David. James. Gladly waiting for you. Sure, quite sure. Could hold for much longer. At four million seven hundred thousand, still with David Galperin, no regrets. Fair warning then. Against the rest of you, last chance and selling to you, David, for four million seven hundred thousand dollars. Sold. Thank you so much. Battle two oh six. Congratulations. Lot nine, untitled by Laura Owens, is Part of the artist's most celebrated series, 12 paintings, and the first work from the series ever to be offered at auction. Sold as viewed because of its extraordinary scale, of course. 
I'm going to start here at only $900,000, at $900,000, $1, $1, at $1 million, $1 million, $1 at $1 million, $1 and $1 million, $2, at $1 million, $2 now, $1 million, $2, at $1 million, $200,000 only, at $1 million, $2, $1 million, $300,000, at 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 one million three hundred thousand. James coming in at one million three hundred thousand. At one million three. At one million three hundred thousand. Against you all in the room. And the line. Max. At one million three hundred thousand dollars. At one million three. And one million four hundred thousand now. One million four. At one million four hundred thousand. Fair warning. At one million four hundred thousand. $1,000. Pass at $1,400,000. Let's now turn to lot 10, Louise Bonnet's figure with tablecloth from 2020, which interweaves beauty, comedy, and psychological tension. Showing here on the easel, and I'm going to start the bidding here at only 450, 480, 500,000, then at 500,000, 550,000 already at 550. Who's going to say 600? It's at 550,000 dollars only. At 550, at 550,000, at 550,000 dollars. At 550, in advance against 550. At 550,000 for the bonnet. At 550,000. At 550, Nick. Come again. At 550,000 dollars. Against you in the room, at 550, at $550,000. Wheel through, fair warning then. Flurry of well-trained hands going out at $550,000. Alex Max, at 550. Fair warning, last chance. At $550,000. Holding for you, Marina. Holding for you, Carly. Sure? Quite sure? Let me say it again. At $550,000. Pass, $550,000. Next up is lot 11, Matthew Wong's The Jungle, a rich kaleidoscopic vision of a night forest. Wait for it to come round. Thank you very much. And I'm opening here at only 900,000, 950,000, at 950, one million dollars already, at one million dollars, one million one, at one million one hundred thousand, one million two. Thank you, David. Selling to David Galperin's telephone at one million two. Lucius, one three. Back to Lucius at one three. Will you say one four? At one three here on my left with Lucius Elliott. Not yours for now, David. At one million three hundred thousand. At one million three hundred thousand, it gets the rest of you in the room. At one three. Jackie, you're coming in. At one three, one four. Thank you. It's yours for now. At one million four now. Lucius, are you coming back? Or David? At one million four with you, Jackie Wachter. At one million four hundred thousand. At one four. At one million four. David. You're going to blink. At one million four hundred thousand is with Jackie. As you can probably hear. At one million four hundred thousand. Lucius, fair warning then. Thank you for your patience, Jackie. Against you, David. Against you, Lucius. I'm selling it to Jackie. For one million four hundred thousand dollars. Sold. Congratulations, Jackie. That goes to paddle 251. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, please note, lot uh, 12 has been withdrawn. So we move straight on here to lot 13. Uh, George Kondo's vibrant, expressionistic, blue monumental head. Coming round, there it is. And I'm going to start only at 1,100,000, 1,200,000, 1,300,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,
Certainly, we've come this far, 1,950,000. Should we say two? It's at 1,950,000. Two million dollars. Thank you very much indeed. Lucius, you want to try two? One. Uh, one sorry, two million dollars in the room. Two million is already bid in the room. Sorry, Jackie. Right. Try two, one. It's at two million dollars. The lady seated in the middle of the room at two million dollars. Two, one. It's a short step. At two million dollars. Not yours, Jackie. Not yours, Lucius. Still with you. Thank you for your patience. At two million dollars. Last chance. In a new place. I took it there. In fact, gentleman seated behind you at two one. Thank you, sir. Who will say two two? It's at two million one hundred thousand. At two million one hundred thousand. At two million one. It's with you, sir. It's against the rest of you. Madam, would you like to try two two? At two million one hundred thousand. Two two. Thank you very much, sir. Should we say two three? Two three. Thank you. At two million three hundred thousand now against you. Thank you very much. Anyway, at two million three hundred thousand, sir, it's still with you. Against the rest of you in the room, at two million three hundred. Yes, I will. At two million three fifty. At two million three hundred and fifty, sir. Will you say two four? Two four. Would you like two four fifty? It's at two million four hundred thousand. At two million four hundred thousand. I will take fifty. It's two four. Not yours for now. At two million four hundred thousand. Two fifty. Sorry, two million four hundred and fifty thousand. Thank you so much. So we'd like two five. Two five. Thank you. At two million five now. Two million five hundred thousand. Should we go on? Thank you very much. Anyway, again, at two million five hundred thousand against you on the phones. The rest of you in the room. Fair warning, then. Here for the condo at two million five hundred thousand dollars. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. That goes to paddle two three nine four. Which brings us here it comes to the Mark Bradford. <clears throat> I don't care if he's Captain America. Bradford, of course, currently the subject of a major solo exhibition here in New York. Needs no introduction at all. And I'm going to start the bidding here at only two million four hundred thousand, two million five hundred thousand, two million six hundred thousand already at two million six, at two million six hundred thousand, at two million seven hundred thousand. Thank you so much. And selling at two million seven hundred thousand. Thank you so much at two million seven hundred thousand dollars. Lady seated in the room at two million seven. Any advance against two million seven hundred thousand? At two million seven, yeah. for the Bradford. At two million seven hundred thousand, are we all through then? In the room, on the phones, Nick, I'll hold. At two million seven hundred thousand, and it's selling. Would you like two eight? At two million seven hundred thousand, Nick. Fair warning, going to have to hurry you. Thank you anyway. At two million seven hundred thousand, still with you. Thank you for your patience. Last chance, Nick, and selling for two million seven hundred thousand dollars. Sold. Thank you very much indeed. Congratulations, paddle two three zero five. That brings us to lot fifteen. Glenn Ligon's portrait of Malcolm X, a highlight of the artist's seminal twenty eleven exhibition at the Whitney. Here in New York, I'm sure you will remember it. Many of you will remember it. And I am going to open the bidding here at only uh, $650,000. At $650,000, $700,000 then. At $700,000, $750,000 only. At $750,000 for the Ligon. At $750,000. At $750,000. $800,000. Thank you. In the room at $800,000. At $800,000. Lady seated in the room at $800,000. Against you on telephones and online. And the rest of you in the room at eight hundred thousand dollars. Any further advance? At eight hundred thousand dollars. We're going on at eight hundred thousand dollars. We all through. Fair warning then. And I'm selling it. Last chance for eight hundred thousand dollars. Sold. Thank you very much indeed. That's paddle two three zero five. 
Up next is lot 16. They all give me strength by Portia Zvava Hera, whose work is held in the collections of the National Gallery of Zimbabwe, Tate in London, and the Minneapolis Institute of Art, amongst others. And I'm excited to start this at only 70, 80, 90 thousand dollars at 90 thousand dollars only at 90 thousand. He's going to say 100. It's at 90 thousand dollars. 95 is bid online. Fine, I'll take 95. Thank you very much. 100. I took it with Constance first. In fact, it's with you, Constanza. At 100,000, 110 is online. Who wants 120? At 110, 120 in a new place. Where's the bid? Would you like 130, sir? 130 in the room. I took it there. At 130. Who's saying 140? Gentleman seated at 130, 140 online. Sir, would you like 150, 150? Yes, you would. Thank you so much. At 150, it's yours. At 150. In the room, 160, back online. At 160, would you like 170? I took it here with Constanza. At 170, against you both. At 170, 180, back to you, sir. 180. Would you like 190? At 180,000. Gentleman seated. 190. Thank you, Constanza. At 190, 200,000. I see you, sir. 200. It's yours for now at $200,000. Constanza, say 220. At 220, or indeed online, feel free to click back in at $200,000. 220, thank you. At 220,000, sir, would you like 250? Thank you so much. At 250, at 250, online, it's against you now. At 250,000, would you like 280? It's at $250,000. Here at Sotheby's in New York, at $250,000, it's not yours for now. At 250,000, against you, Constanza, against all the other telephones, at 250,000, it is with you, sir. Fair warning then, and I'm selling to the gentleman seated. Would you say 280, Lucius? It's at 250, looking for 280. 280 with Lucius, thank you so much. Sir, would you like 300? It's at 280, thank you very much anyway. With you, Lucius, then at 280,000. At 280,000, with Lucius Elliott here on my left, at $280,000. At $280,000. Constanze, you quite sure? At 280, here with Lucius, against you online. Gentlemen in the room, here with Lucius, and selling for $280,000. Sold. Thank you, Lucius. Paddle 211. Thank you very much indeed. And now let's turn to lot 17, untitled, Into and Through the Jungle Monkey Face, 45.98 by Marc Grosjean. A quintessential example of the artist's lauded face paintings, showing here. Thank you so much. And I'm starting this at only 2,100,000, at 2,100,000, 2,200,000, 2,000,000, 2,000,000, at 2,300,000 then, at 2,300,000, and 2,400,000, at 2,400,000, 2,500,000, here with David Schrader. $2,500,000 with David Schrader here on my left. Global head of private sales, in case he hasn't introduced himself to you. At $2,500,000 here with David, against the rest of you. Fair warning, against you in the room and online. At $2,500,000. Fair warning, and I'm selling it to you, David, for $2,500,000. Dollars. Sold. Thank you very much indeed. That goes to Paddle 266. Congratulations to them. Lot 18 is Stephen Shearer's electric work, The Late Dioramist and Sons, one of the largest paintings by the artist to date. And I'm starting here at only 420,000, 450,000, 480,000 only, at 480,000, at 480,000. At 480,000, 500,000, bid online at 500. It's with the online bidder at 500,000. 600,000, thank you, Vera. I like your style. At 600,000, here with Vera. On the telephone at 600,000, not yours online. Try 650, it's here at Sotheby's at $600,000. At $600,000. Still with you, Vera, against you in the room at 600,000. Certainly, 620. Vera, would you like 650? All online, would you like 650? It's at 620 with Gregoire. At $620,000. At $620,000. Some arithmetic going on. At $620,000. Against you all in the room for now. Against you online. Feel free to come back. At $620,000. Are we all through? Fair warning. Vera. Last chance. Selling to Gregoire. For $620,000. Of 
quite sure. Thank you so much, Lisa, at $620,000. Sold. Thank you, Greg. 0074, thank you very much indeed. And now we have Lot 19, a rare large-scale work by Elizabeth Payton, an artist who's considered among the most influential contemporary figurative painters working today. I'm starting this at only 450,000, 480,000, 500,000, 550,000, showing here at 550,000 only, at 550, at $550,000 only, at 550 for the Payton. At 550, at 550,000, at 550,000 dollars, at 550. Gets you in the room, on the phones, coming in, at 550,000 dollars. Last chance, at 550,000 dollars. Pass, 550,000. Please note that lot 20 has been withdrawn, which takes us straight on to. Lot 21, for services Victoria Regina by Nigerian-born Endojeka Kunyali Crosby, whose work is currently the subject of a solo exhibition at California's Huntington Library, Art Museum, and Botanical Gardens, as well as much else, of course. And I'm going to start here showing, as you can see on the easel, at only 450,000, 480,000. At 480, 550 ahead of you, David, say 600. It's at 550 already. Will you say 600? It's 550. 580. Yes, I'll take 580 from you, Charlie. Thank you for asking. At 580. At 580. David, do you want to say, where's the bid? Thank you, David. At 600. Over to you. Charlie, would you like 620? At 600,000 with David Galperin. Here on the north side telephone banks. At $600,000. Coming back, Charlie. At 600,000. Not yours for now. David, quite sure. The other David. Fair warning. Thank you so much. Took it in the room first at 620, just ahead of you. I heard it here first at 620,000. Seated in the room. David, will you say 650? Or Charlie, indeed. At 620. It's yours, madam. At 620. At $620,000. 640, I'll take. At 640. 660. Thank you so much. 660 in the room. Back to you, David. Would you like 680? It's at $660,000 in the room. David? Oof. You asked very nicely. It's 670, 680. As long as it's fast. That's 680. Back to you, David. Would you like 690? 690. Yes? Thank you. 700. No hesitation there at all. That's $700,000. Try 720. That's $700,000. 720. 750. Thank you so much. At 750. Like 780. Be neat. $750,000. It's in the room. If you just correct the ticker. 770. What would you like? Within reason. 800,000, thank you very much indeed. At $800,000, at 800,000. Back to you, David. At 800,000. Are we going on? At $800,000. 820, 850. At 850,000. Still against you, David. At 850, 870, 900. At 900 now. You can try 950, David. At $900,000. 920, 950. 950 against you, David. 970, $1 million. If I try 150, 1 million and 50, 1 million and 50, 1, 1, 180, 1 million and 80,000, thank you. 1 million and 80,000, back to you, David. What do you say, 1, 1? 1, 1. 
Thank you very much anyway. At 1,100,000. Over to you, David. Against the rest of you in the room and indeed online and the rest of you on the telephones, it's with David Galfrin's telephone bidder and selling then for $1,100,000. Sold. Thank you very much, David. Your paddle. Two, two, three. Thank you so much. Congratulations to them. Next up is lot 22. David Hammond's Untitled from the Artist Rare to Auction 2007 series. Tart painting. Sold as viewed for obvious reasons. Extraordinary object here. I'm starting at only 1,100,000, 1,200,000, 1,300,000, 1,400,000. 1,400,000 only at 1,400,000. 1,400,000. 1,400,000. 1,400,000. 8 million dollars. Thank you so much, Olivier Faux, at 1.8 million dollars. With Olivier's bid there, 1 million 800 thousand dollars. With Olivier Faux, all the way from Paris, at 1 million 800 thousand, at 1.8 million dollars. At 1.8. Against the rest of you, for the Hammonds, at 1 million 800 thousand. Are we all through? At 1 million 800 thousand. Fair warning then. Get you in the room. Still with you, Olivier. Last chance. And selling for $1.8 million. Thank you very much indeed. That goes to Paddle 220. Well done to them. Next we have Lot 23, untitled by Rudolf Stingel, a superb example of the artist's iconic carpet paintings. I'm going to open here at only 950, sorry, 850,000, 900,000, 950,000 only at 950,000, at 951 million dollars, at 1 million dollars only at 1 million dollars, at 1 million, at 1 million. Bame coming in at 1 million dollars, at 1 million dollars, not yours for now, 1 million dollars, at 1 million, at 1 million dollars. Against you in the room, 1 million, not yours online. Gets you all on the phones at $1 million. Fair warning then. Last chance at $1 million. Pass, $1 million. <coughs> Moving on to lot 24, LA based painter Julian Wen. I know why the caged bird sings. This reinterpretation of a biblical narrative highlights Wen's highly skilled painterly style. And I'm going to start here at only 120,000, 130,000, 140,000. At 140,000 only, at 140. 150, thank you, Justin, at 150. At 150, 160 online, say 170. It's at 160. 170, I took it here, 170. Who's saying 180? At 180, thank you, Phoebe. At 180, it's yours for now. At 180,000. 190, back to you, Lucius, at 190. 200,000, thank you very much, Phoebe, at 200. 220, I took it online. 230 with you, Alex Branchick, certainly. At 230,000, it's over to you. At $230,000 with Alex Branchick. 240, thank you, Phoebe. At 240, it's yours. At 240. Ashkan, you're coming in at 240. Alex, you're coming back. $240,000 now. At 240. 250 is bid online. Phoebe, back to you. Would you like 260? 260, thank you so much. Still with Phoebe's telephone bidder here at Sotheby's at $260,000. Not yours online for now. At $260,000. Are we going on? Against you online and the four other telephones at $260,000. Still with you, Phoebe. At $260,000 then. Fair warning, last chance. I'm selling it to you, Phoebe. Justin Ashkern. <laughs> That's very definitive. At $260,000. Sold. Thank you very much indeed. That goes to paddle 230. And finally, the sale concludes this evening with Lot 25, Surf and Turf, by Angela Taro, who last month was awarded the Visionary Artist Award by the Bronx Museum. Significant interest here and absentee interest. I'm starting already at 70, 80, 90, 100 thousand dollars selling in the book. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170. I took it there. 180 with Jackie. 190 with Amanda. 190. He's going to say 200. 200 with Marina. Took it there first. 200. 220? 220 is next. 220. Thank you very much, Amanda. 220. He's going to say 250. At 220,000. It's with you, Amanda. At $220,000. At $220,000. Gets you in the room. At $220,000. Marina, Sharon, coming back at $220,000. Simon, 
Looking threatening there at $220,000. Fair warning then. Brooke, 230. At 230,000. Would you like 240? 240. Thank you very much indeed. 240,000. Brooke, say 250. At 240. Small step. $240,000 here. Amanda Rosenstein from our private sales department at $240,000 here on my left, south side of the building. $240,000, Brooke. At $240,000. Fair warning. Thank you for your patience, Amanda. Against the rest of you in the room. And I'm going to sell it to Amanda's telephone bidder. How is up? Thank you, anyway. To you, Amanda, for $240,000. So, congratulations, your paddle, please. 208, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much to all for tuning in from around the world for this evening's The Now Auction, and especially to those who participate in the sale. We will now take a short break and then look forward to welcoming you back for the second of this evening's sales, when my colleague Oliver Barker will take to the rostrum for our contemporary evening auction. Now it's a very good night for me. Thank you. Thibault is perhaps best known for his still lives of edible treats. He uses food as a vehicle to explore composition, color, light, and texture in his lusciously painted canvases. Candy Counter from 1969 is a rare early example of the artist's most celebrated motif, executed on an impressive scale and really replete with so many delicious items to look at. Candy Counter dates to the first decade of the artist's mature production, the most significant and sought-after period of his work. In fact, a sister painting is in the Anderson Collection at Stanford, a view of the very same Candy Counter, but from a different vantage point. Indeed, Thibault produced only 10 paintings of deli or dessert foods of this largest scale, over half of which reside in museums' permanent collections. Even within this group, Candy Counter really stands out as undoubtedly one of the absolute best examples. It's been included in nearly all of Thibaut's major exhibitions and retrospectives, starting with his show in 1985 at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. More than just representations, Thibaut's paintings are experiments in geometrical arrangement. Because of his reliance on geometry and the flattening of the picture plane, the works oscillate between representation and abstraction. In Candy Counter, he employs a slightly raised perspective as the objects press forward towards the picture plane. Horizontal lines bisect the composition and provide a strong sense of organizational structure. Thibault's work, which reflects the age of mass production and consumption in the 50s and 60s, has been interpreted as a critique or indictment of popular culture, aligning him with the pop artists of the 60s. But truthfully, he doesn't see or intend them this way. Rather, his work is infused with nostalgia, recalling many of the memories of his childhood. And while Thibault was friendly with several of his contemporaries who worked in an abstract expressionist vein, he was ultimately not interested in this style. Indeed, de Kooning once told him he should find something he loves and deal with it, which brought Thibaut back to his roots when he worked in a cafeteria as a young man. What I love most about Thibaut's work is the materiality of the paint surface. 
He used his paint to literally model his forms in thick, luscious swaths of impasto. White, gooey, shiny oil paint as frosting is really one of his trademarks. Candy Counter is a painting that remained part of the Thibaut family collection until it was sold through the Paul Thibaut Gallery to the present owner. A dessert painting of this scale from the 60s has not been offered at auction for over 25 years, and we are so excited to bring this magnificent work to auction at Sotheby's this season. Gerhard Richter is one of the most important artists of the last 60 years. And what makes this group of paintings so fascinating is a variety of his approach to painting. Together, they ask us, how could the same artist have made these paintings within such a short amount of time? The three paintings are connected in such interesting and complex ways. The two abstract paintings are connected by their shared relationship to the proliferation of colour. One comes out of his investigations of serial division and chance arrangement of colour squares on a grid. The other comes out of this very physical process of applying paint with a brush and then going over the surface of the painting with a squeegee. The third painting is Vesuvius, a landscape painting that both comes out of his interest in the German Romantic tradition and his experience as someone going on a holiday. In many of his abstract paintings that he made with squidgies, Richter was thinking about landscape effects. And although these aren't depictions of landscapes, they might summon up what a landscape feels like Abstract painting from 1990 measures around 24 inches high and 20 inches wide. At this point in his career, Richter was showing both photo paintings and abstract paintings, and the abstract paintings were made with squidgies. Richter was using a relatively small sized squidgy, and that produces a sense of structure as much as there's a sense of randomness in this canvas. The squidgy would create a very complex, random and surprising field of colour. The painting would have begun with lots of different layers of colour being laid down. When Richter passed the squidgy over the surface, much of the paint was removed, but it wasn't removed in a consistent way, which means that some of the colour stayed on. The colours are completely refreshing, they're very bright and varied. There are so many different colours, blues next to yellows, purples above greens, a field of red at the bottom, lighter shades of white and yellow towards the top. 4096 Farben is a large square painting divided into a grid of squares. Each square is a different colour and the squares abut each other directly without any grid or white space in between them. 4096 Colours is the most ambitious and the last of the colour chart paintings that Gerhard Richter made. In the 1970s, he started to work in a much more systematic way. He created his own colours according to a system of division and permutation. So he started with the three primaries and grey, and then with those four, he divided and divided and divided until he got to 1,024 colours. And in 1973, he decided to make a new work where each of those 1,024 colours would repeat four times. 
so that there would be 4,096 squares altogether. It was an extraordinarily scientific process of deriving these colours, multiplication, division. But when it came to arranging them on the grid, that was done according to arbitrary ways of organisation. Richter arranges the grid colours by chance, and that is connecting him to many different artists who are interested in the workings of chance in the creation of art, like the musician John Cage and, of course, Marcel Duchamp. A year after Richter made the huge colour chart painting, he travelled to Italy on a summer holiday and spent some time on the island of Capri. While he was there, he took several snapshots looking out from the very summit of Capri over towards Vesuvius. The following year, in 1976, he took seven of those photographs and made seven paintings and the painting in the sale is the first of these paintings of Vesuvius. Vesuvius itself is almost like a smudge on the horizon line. It's not erupting. When painters have gone to make paintings of Vesuvius, usually they show moments of great spectacle, a huge eruption. But in Richter's painting, there's no spectacle. Instead, this painting is very atmospheric. You have a sense of light, the clouds, and natural beauty. He is exchanging that spectacle for that beauty. The composition is kind of clunky, like tourist snapshots tend to be. Vesuvius is bang in the centre of the painting, and there's a little fragment of Capri just immediately below it. He reminds us of the conditions of mass tourism and cheap photography. Instead of trying to escape those things, He's entrenching us in those experiences. These fantastic works by Gerhard Richter will be offered in the sale on the 18th of May.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and if you're joining us now, a very warm welcome from Sotheby's here in New York. My name is Oliver Barker, and I will be your auctioneer for tonight's Contemporary Evening Auction. I am delighted to be taking up the gavel from my colleague, Michael McCauley, who has just completed the now sale. Thank you, Michael. This evening's auction features important works which capture the seismic shifts in art that occurred in the latter half of the 20th century. Fresh to market monumental masterpieces highlight tonight's sale, including Louise Bourgeois' rare spider, an icon of 20th century art, standing at more than 10 feet tall and dominating our gallery space throughout our viewing this week. As well as Jean-Michel Basquiat's Ode to Jazz, Now's the Time, and Gerhard Richter's 4096 Farben, the last work of his renowned color chart series, and this subliminal picture. Once again, we are happy to have tonight's sale, presented in partnership with French luxury house Céline. Just before we get into the auction, a few housekeeping notes. Please note that everything is sold under the authenticity guarantee and on an as-is basis. Buyer's premium and overhead premium will be added to the hammer price of each lot offered this evening, and applicable sales tax will be due on the aggregate of the three figures as part of the total price payable. Please refer to our online sale catalogue for further informa uh, information regarding lots with guarantees and irrevocable bids. And please also refer to our conditions of business for our full terms of sale. And we start, ladies and gentlemen, with lot number 101. Coming around on the easel now for you this evening, David Hockney's drawing of a pool and a towel, featuring the artist's most iconic motif. The work embodies Hockney's lifelong fascination, and specifically life in California. Here it is, from 1971. Signed, dated, and dedicated for Jean, property from a notable private collection. And I'm going to start here with some interest at $700,000. $700,000, $750,000, $800,000, $850,000, $900,000, $600,000, $700,000, $800,000, $900,000, $900,000, $900,000, $900,000, $900,000, $900,000, $900,000, $900,000, $900,000, $900,000, $900,000,
The first and only owners of this picture to date, they acquired the work from the extraordinary Anthony Doffe Gallery, uh, the Mirrors Exhibition. Gerhard Richter, really fabled Richter exhibition there in London at the time, has always been in the same collection since, from 1990. And no numbered on the reverse, 721 number 4. Here it is, exquisite thing, really beautiful picture. And I'm going to start the bidding here at 1,500,000, 1,5, 1,6, 1,7 now, 1,7, 1,800,000, 1,9 is the first bid at 1,9, 2 million in several places. I took it ahead of you, madam, it's here, further forward, 2,2 two, two, I'll take from you. At 2,2, 2,4, give me 6, 2,6, thank you very much, 2,600,000, against you further back. Still here at 2,600,000, give me 8, 2,800,000, thank you. A two million eight on my right with uh, Gregoire Bio at two million eight hundred thousand against the room now two million eight. Want to come in again, madam? At two million eight hundred thousand dollars here. Two eight. Give me three. Three. Yep. At three million dollars. Three two is bid. Thank you. At three million two and against you, Brad Bentoff now in the room at three million two hundred thousand dollars. Three four. I'll take. Next bid's going to be three million six, madam. Three million six hundred thousand now. It's back in the room again. And worth every penny. A beautiful object. Three eight is bid now. Thank you. At three million eight hundred thousand. Let's make it four. At three million eight hundred thousand, here it is, four million dollars in a new place with Brooke Lampley. I'd rather take two if we can. Four million one. We've come this far. Four million one hundred thousand. Thank you. Four million one, and against you both on the telephones. Against you, Brad. Against you, Brooke. Four million two now is bid. At four million two, Brooke, can you give me four four? Here at four million two hundred thousand dollars on my left to four two. At four million two hundred thousand for the Richter, four million two hundred thousand dollars. There it is, at four million two. On my left, with Brad Bentoff, at four million two hundred thousand dollars. Not yours. Here at four million two for the Richter. Four million four hundred thousand. Four five. Here at four million five hundred thousand dollars with Brad still, and against you, Brooke, at four million five hundred thousand. Don't let it go. At four million five hundred thousand. Four million five. Courtney, are you going to bid? I know you know this picture better than most. At four million five hundred thousand. Please thank the consigners for working with us here at Sotheby's. At four million five hundred thousand dollars. I think that's a no. At four million five hundred thousand. Thank you, Brooke. It's here with Brad and against you in the room at four million five. Want to come back? At four million five hundred thousand dollars, fair warning now. It's Brad's bidder and selling here for the Richter at four million five hundred thousand dollars. Thank you, Brad. Yours, three hundred and twenty. Thanks so much. Congratulations. And we go on. Lot number one hundred and three, of course, is the beautiful the Ed Ruscha property from a notable private collection. It's radio number one from uh, 1963, signed and dated 63. Oil and black ink on paperboard, mounted on canvas. Here it is, that extraordinary glass there. Uh, and I'm going to start the bidding here at 1,500,000, 1,550,000, 1,600,000, 1,650,000. At 1,650,000, 1,700,000, 1,700,000. Thank you. 1,750,000. Here it is. At 1,750,000. At 1,750,000. It's Jackie Walker's bidder at 1,750,000. It's here on my right. At 1,750,000. And selling here at 1,750,000. At 1,750,000. You bidding here at 1,750,000. It's not yours. It's 1,750,000. Here on my right. Jackie Walker's bidder at 1,750,000. Against you on this side too. At 1,750,000. Here it is, Jackie, it's your bid. At 1,750,000 for the Rouché. At 1,750,000, fair warning now, I'm going to sell it. It's yours, Jackie, for $1,750,000. Thank you, it's panel number 352. And lot number 104, property of a private New York collection is the Barbara Kruger. Untitled Thwart the Law from 1987, showing here, thank you very much indeed. And we're starting the bidding here at 300,000, 320,000, 350,000 now, 350,000, 380,000, at 380,000 dollars, 38, at 380,000, 400,000 is bid, thank you Lucius, 400,000. To start us off at 400,000 dollars, here on my left, Lucius Elliott's bidder at 400,000 dollars. And I can sell, obviously, at $400,000. Against you, Wendy, at $400,000 now. 400. 
at $400,000 for the Kruger. Here it is on my left at $400,000 now. Any more? $400,000, still yours. And selling now this time. It's yours. Thank you, Lucius, at $400,000. Hammer is coming up now. And selling, last chance, at $400,000. Thank you, Lucius. Sold. It's paddle 328. Thank you very much indeed. Congratulations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we turn, of course, to Louis Bourgeois' monumental masterpiece, Spider, from 1996, an exceptional early example of the artist's signature motif, and one of just four monumental spiders to ever come to auction. Having resided in the collection of Instituto Ital Cultural for more than 25 years, proceeds from the sale will benefit the Foundation's initiatives in art and culture in Brazil. So please bid generously. Thank you very much indeed. Here we are for the bourgeois. Conceived and cast in 1996, this one being number one from an edition of six plus one artist proof. And I'm going to start the bidding here at $25 billion. 25, $26 million now. $26 million. At $26 million. $27 million now. $27 million. $28 million. At $28 million. $28 million now. $28 million. $29 million. At $29 million. $30 million now with Lisa Dennison on my left here at $30 million. Thank you, Lisa. At $30 million here, it's on my left. At $30 million now, it's Lisa Dennison's bidder at $30 million for the bourgeois. At $30 million now. Here on my left for the spider, at $30 million. It's still with you, Lisa, at $30 million now. At $30 million. At $30 million. You coming in at $30 million. At $30 million. There it is, on my left, at $30 million. It's with Lisa Dennison, chairman of Sotheby's North America, at $30 million. It's your bid, Lisa, at $30 million. Against you on this side, at $30 million. It's still here, Lisa, at $30 million now. It's against you, Brooke, at $30 million now. You come again, at $30 million. At $30 million. Still here. It's yours, Lisa, at $30 million still. Anything on this side at $30 million now? At $30 million. It's Lisa Dennison's bid, and we're going to sell it at $30 million now. Fair warning to you, at $30 million. It's going to go now. There it is. For the spider at $30 million. It's a wonderful object, Lisa. I think it's going to be yours. Last chance. Fair warning. Here it goes. For the Louis Bourgeois, it's yours. So, thank you very much indeed. Paddle number 403. At 30 million, thank you. And lot number 106 is the Howardina Pindell, and the untitled work from 1969 to 73, executed, well, in fact, in 1971. Um, and we're going to start the bidding here at 300,000, 350,000, 400,000 now, at $400,000, at $400,000, 450,000, at $450,000, 500,000, with you, Brooke, thank you so much, at $500,000. At 500,000, with Brooke Lampley, 550,000. Nicole Schloss this time at 550,000 dollars. 600,000, it's back with Brooke again at 600,000. Give me 50. 650,000, it's Nicole's bid at 700,000. It's in a new place. David Schrader this time at 700,000. Against the two of you here at 750 ahead of you. I'm so sorry, Nicole. Brooke's hand went up marginally ahead of yours at 750, but I'll take 800 from you now. 850. I'm so sorry, Brooke. We got in there first on this side with David Shredder. Give me nine, though. 900,000. Thank you, Brooke. It's your bid this time at 900,000. Nicole, give me 50. Or you, David, at $900,000. Still with Brooke Lampley at this point at 900,000. Looking for 50. There it is. Thank you, Nicole. All three of you at it at 950,000. $1 million. Thank you, Brooke. At 1 million. Next bid's going to be 1 million. One. 1 million. 100,000. 1 million. 200,000. Let's try three. At one million two hundred thousand. It's back with Brooke Lampley and against you there, David. And against you, Nicole, at one million two hundred thousand dollars. Try three. At one million two. Try another one. At one two. Nicole Schlatt. Thank you. One million two hundred and fifty thousand is bid. One million three hundred thousand. And looking for 50 again at 1,200,000. Uh, 1,3. 1,3. Three. 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 Nicole Schloss here. 
head of Sotheby's Contemporary Day Sales, or 1,300,000. One, three, give me 50, Nicole. It's here, 1,300,000. Thank you, Brooke. It's your bid so far, 1,300,000. And it gets you, Nicole, 1,350,000. Say another one. At 1,3. At 1,300,000. Yes, no? At 1,300,000. I'm going to sell it. $1,300,000 here. It's Brooks Bitter at $1,300,000. What have you got? At $1,300,000. You want to try 50? At $1,300,000. We're going to have to sell it at $1,300,000. The hammer is coming up now. At $1,300,000. Unless you're out, David, as well. Yep, at $1,300,000. Nicole? Fair warning then. I'm selling it to Brooke. Last chance. At $1,300,000. Thank you, Brooke. It's pattern number 317 making an artist record in the process. Thank you very much indeed, Brooke. Congratulations. There it is. At $1,300,000. 107 has been withdrawn, and we move straight on to the Eva Hess of the no title drawing. Here it is. Thank you. Property from a prominent American collection, the Eva Hess. And I can start the bidding here at, uh, at $500,000, $550,000, $600,000 now. at $600,000, $650,000. At six hundred and fifty thousand dollars, six hundred and fifty, seven hundred thousand is starting us here. It's seven hundred thousand. With Lisa Dennison up front, it's seven hundred thousand dollars. It's your bid, Lisa, again. It's seven hundred thousand dollars. Here on my left is seven hundred thousand dollars. Seven hundred. At seven hundred thousand, Lisa Dennison's bid is that a bid, sir? It's seven hundred thousand dollars. Here it is, seven hundred. At seven hundred thousand dollars, against you here too as well. At seven hundred. At seven hundred thousand, I'm selling it here. It's Lisa's bidder. It's so against you, Courtney, it's 700,000, you coming in? No? Fair warning, Lisa, it's yours. Last chance, at $700,000. Thank you, Lisa. 313, thank you. And lot number 109 is the Ad Reinhardt, the red painting from 1953, one of a limited number of works from the series of this significant scale. An early date that the artist ever produced. Absolutely ravishing picture. It looked wonderful in that gallery with the Richter Farben and the Palermo, of course, and the Vesuvius. Uh, this time executed in 1953. Oil on canvas in the artist's frame. Fabulous object. Here it is. And I'm going to start the bidding here at $2 million. At $2 million. $2 million now. $2 million two. $2 million now. $2 million $2 million $2 million at $2,600,000, $2,800,000 now. It's bid on my right at $2,800,000 now. It's bomb is bidder at $2,800,000. And it gets you Brad at $2,800,000. $2,800,000, there it is, at $2,800,000. On my right at $2,800,000, bomb is bidder at $2,800,000 and selling, of course, at $2,800,000. At $2,800,000, anyone else at $2,800,000? Want to bid? At $2,800,000, still with you, Barmy? At two million eight hundred thousand dollars, and I'm going to sell it. It's your bid. At two million eight, fair warning now. Last chance. At two million eight hundred thousand dollars. Thank you, Barmy. It's paddle number three twenty-one, I think. Thank you. At two million eight. A lot number one hundred ten is the uh, the Wayne Tebow, the candy counter. Hanging behind me, of course, here it is in all its splendor. Wonderful, wonderful painting here, painted from, in 1969. This fabulous work is a rare example of the artist's most celebrated motif. Obviously, a popular American icon. There it is. Well, in fact, it's an icon, I think, anywhere. But uh, here it is, American Delicacy, Wayne Tebow's Candy Counter from 1969. And I want to start here at $8 million. $8 million, $8 million, $9 million now at $9 million. $9 million, $9 million, $9 million $500,000. At nine million five hundred thousand dollars. At nine million five hundred thousand dollars for the Tebow. At nine million five hundred thousand. Any more? At nine million. Ten million dollars is bid now. Thank you, Courtney. At ten million dollars here. On the telephone banks, we Courtney Kramer's. Here it is. At ten million dollars. It's on my right hand side. At ten million dollars. Thank you, Courtney. At ten million dollars. It's your bid. At ten million dollars now. Ten million five hundred thousand with David Schrader. It's in a new place now. At ten million five on this side. Here on my left. Your right. At ten million five. At ten million five hundred thousand, David Schroeder, eleven million. So we're the third bidder. Thank you, Greg. In a new place at eleven million dollars, Gregoire Bio, at eleven million dollars with Gregoire and against you, Courtney, and against you, David. Here at eleven million dollars here with Gregoire Bio at eleven million, and against you, Alex Branchick at eleven million dollars here. Come in when you want at eleven million dollars. Still with Greg. You're saying five. I'd rather take five at eleven million dollars here. 
There it is at $11 million. Let's try five. At $11 million. Are we going to get there? No? I'll take the 250. At $11,250,000. $11,250. At $11,500,000. It's in a new place. Thank you, madam. It's at eleven million five hundred thousand. Ladies, spit in the room now. At eleven million five hundred thousand. Here she is. At eleven million five hundred thousand. Thank you. At eleven five. Lady here, and it's against you, Courtney. It's against you, Gregoire. It's against you, David. It's the lady in the room here. At eleven million five hundred thousand. Next bit's going to be eleven seven fifty. There it is. Thank you, David. At eleven million seven hundred fifty thousand. Madam, would you like to say twelve? At eleven million seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. At eleven million seven hundred and fifty thousand. David Schrader's bidder, and against you on this side as well. Want to say twelve? Twelve million dollars. With Simon Shaw now. It's in another new place. Simon Shaw, thank you. At twelve million dollars. Here on my left, at twelve million dollars. At twelve million dollars. Thank you, Simon. At twelve million dollars. Here it is. And against you, madam, in the room. It's against you, David. And against you, Courtney, and against you, Gregoire. At twelve million dollars. With Simon Shaw here. At twelve million dollars. Madam, you want to say two fifty? At $12 million. Still here at $12 million now. Take your time, Greg. At $12 million. At $12 million. Thank you, Simon. $12,250,000 with Courtney now. $12,250,000. Thank you, Simon. I'm going to say five. At twelve million two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Against you, madam, in the room still at twelve million two fifty. It's here at twelve million two hundred fifty thousand. Give me five, someone, please. Twelve million five hundred thousand dollars. At twelve million five. It's Simon's bidder this time at twelve million five hundred thousand. Thank you. At twelve million five. Greg, are you going to come in again? At twelve million five hundred thousand. Courtney, it's against you too. It's here at twelve million five. It's against you, madam, there as well. Thank you anyway. We're going to sell here at twelve million five hundred thousand. Simon Shaw's bidder. Courtney, we're we going to come in again at seven fifty. Yes, at twelve million five still. At twelve million five hundred thousand, with Simon, and the hammer is going to come up now at twelve million five hundred thousand. You ready? At twelve million five, give me seven fifty, please. Fair warning to you now. We're going to have to sell. At twelve million five hundred thousand, here it is. It's with Simon and selling. Last chance, Courtney. She has got a hand, patiently waiting. But we need a, a decision right now, please. Courtney, yes or no? No. And selling, Simon. Thank you for your patience. There it goes. Paddle number three hundred and sixty-four. At twelve million five hundred thousand. Thank you very much. Just remind me of the, uh, the paddle number again, Simon. So sorry, three. Sorry. Let's just grab it. No, I think it was the other one. It is that one. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. And we move on to lot number 111. The collector's eye works in the collection of Francis Wells McGee. The uh, Helen Francatella, the Black Touch from 1965. The acrylic on canvas showing here. Jose, right behind you. Thank you very much indeed. Ably model there. Thank you very much. And I'm going to start the bidding here at $1,600,000. So $1,600,000. $1,700,000. $1,800,000. $1,900,000. $2,000,000. $2,000,000. $2,000,000. $2,000,000. $2,000,000. $2,000,000. $2,000,000. $2,000,000. $2,000,000. $
And lot number 112 is next, of course, Gerhard Richter's 4096 Farben, the final and the most ambitious painting of the artist's early and pivotal series of color chart paintings. This work served as Richter's inspiration for an ambitious commission to create a stained glass window at Cologne Cathedral, unveiled in 2007. And of course, this picture has traveled the world in many of the most significant Gerhard Richter retrospectives, including the Panorama exhibition at the Tate Gallery in London. Here it is. Wonderful, wonderful painting here from 1974. Signed, titled, dated 1974, numbered 359, of course, the definitive color chart painting here from 1974. And I'm going to start the bidding here at $14 million, $14 million, $15 million, at $15 million, $16 million, at $16 million, $17 million now, at $17 million, at $17 million now. $17 million, $18 million now. It's your bid, Alex Branchick, at $18 million. Head of our modern and contemporary sales in Sotheby's Asia, based in Hong Kong, $18 million. Thank you, Alex, at $18 million. It's here on my right-hand side at $18 million. At $18 million, $19 million is in a new place. Thank you, Lisa, at $19 million. On this side again at $19 million. At $19 million. Thank you, Lisa, at $19 million now. 19 million for the Richter here, the monumental color chart, at 19 million dollars. And against you this time, Alex, at 19 million dollars. At 19 million dollars, still here, at 19 million dollars. Lisa's bidder at 19 million dollars. At 19 million dollars, any more, at 19 million dollars. And against you on this side, at 19 million dollars. At 19 million, still with Lisa Dennison, at 19 million dollars. Anyone else, at 19 million dollars, still here. At 19 million dollars. At $19 million on my left hand side. Thank you, Lisa, at $19 million. $19,500,000. Thank you, Greg, at $19,500,000. At $19,500,000. Lisa, it's not yours this time, at $19,500,000. Give me another bit for the Richter at $19,500,000. At nineteen five, it's behind me here. With Gregoire at $19,500,000. Let's say one more, 19 million, 500,000. 20. 20 million dollars, thank you. At 20 million dollars, still with Lisa now, at 20 million dollars, she's going on at 20 million. There it is, at 20 million dollars. Anyone else, at 20 million dollars? At 20 million, it's Lisa Dennison's bidder at 20 million. At 20 million dollars, still on my left. Thank you, Lisa. At 20 million dollars, anyone else, at 20 million? 20 million, 500,000. At twenty million five hundred thousand dollars. At twenty million five hundred thousand. Still with Gregoire at twenty million five hundred thousand dollars. At twenty million five hundred thousand. Say twenty one, please. At twenty million five hundred thousand dollars. Try one more. At least it doesn't get better than this. <laughs> at twenty million five hundred thousand. The very last color chart. At 20 million 500,000, the definitive color chart, 20 million five. On this side, it's Gregoire Spinner. Alex, are you coming in again at 20 million 500,000? It's against you, Lisa. It's against you, Alex. It's with Gregoire at 20 million 500,000 dollars. I'm selling it here to you, Gregoire, your bidder. Fair warning now, at 20 million 500,000 dollars. Greg, with, are you bidding? It's with the hammer. You sure? Yep, okay. We're gonna sell this time. Last chance at 20 million, 500,000. Is that it? <laughs> so thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Greg. Panel number three, one, two. Thank you so much. And we move on, lot number 113 is the Yves Klein, the Anthropometrie Sans Titre, Ant number 27. IKB pigment on paper laid down on canvas, executed in 1960. And I'm going to start the bidding here at 1,700,000, 1,800,000, 1,900,000, now 1,9, 2 million dollars, at 2 million dollars, at 2 million dollars, any more, 2 million dollars, 2 million 100,000, thank you Nicole, at 2 million 100,000, it's here on my right, at 2 million 100,000 for the Eve Klein, at 2 million 100,000, still with Nicole, at 2 million 100,000, I'm going to sell, fair warning now, at 2 million 100,000 dollars, thank you, it's pattern number 342, at 2-1. 
And lot number 114 is an, uh, the further work by Gerhard Richter III of the sale so far, the Vesuvius pending property of a distinguished private collection from 1976, all on panel, of course. Wonderful motif here from a series of pictures from Vesuvius. And I'm going to start the bidding here. At 2,600,000, 2,700,000, 2,800,000, now 2,800,000, 2,900,000, 3 million dollars. This is Isabel Pogman's bidder. At 3 million, 3 million 200,000. Thank you, James Sevier. At 3 million 200,000, give me five. At 3 million 200,000, 3 million 500,000. Thank you, Wendy. At 3 million 500,000, against you, James, there. At 3 million 500,000, against the pair of you, against you, Isabel, and against you, James. At 3 million 500,000, you bid it. At three million five hundred thousand dollars, it's still Wendy Lynn's bid. At three million eight hundred thousand, is bid in the room at three million eight. Thank you, madam. In a new place here at three million eight hundred thousand, ladies bid at three million eight, and it gets you Wendy at three million eight four million dollars now for two. In the room against you at four million two. I need four five. It's going to be the next bid, please. At four million two hundred thousand. Thank you, madam. It's your bid at four million two hundred thousand. Ladies bid it at 4,200,000. 4.3. Four Wendy, can you say five? 4.5. 4.5, thank you. Are you bidding? 4.6. Still in the room, four million six hundred thousand dollars. Ladies bid on the arm at four million six hundred thousand. Four million seven hundred thousand. Four million eight hundred thousand. Thank you. Four million eight hundred thousand. Four million eight hundred thousand dollars. There it is at four eight. At four million eight. Are you out, Wendy? At 4,800,000, it's the ladies' bid here on the aisle. It's against you, Wendy. Thank you for your bids. And I'm going to sell it here. Ladies' bid and selling, last chance, at $4,800,000. So, madam, thank you. I can't, sorry, can you just show me that one more time? Is that double two, double one? Yes? Sign of recognition. Thank you very much indeed. Um, thank you so much. And we move on to lot number 115, the Blinky Palermo, the untitled Stoffbild, a stunning example of the artist's corpus of cloth pictures, considered his most significant series and his greatest contribution to conceptual and minimal art, this time from 1970, acquired from the Onash Gallery, famous Onash Gallery, and always in the same family collection, indeed, has hung on the walls of a significant German museum for most of its life in wonderful condition. Here it is, resplendent object, very rare to auction something of this quality by Palermo, and I want to start the bidding here at 3,100,000, 3,200,000, 3,300,000, no, 3,300,000 dollars. At 3,300,000, 3,400,000 now, 3,400,000, 3,500,000. Uh, Is Camilla Bertini's bidder at 3,500,000 dollars? On the telephone here at 3,500,000. At 3,500,000, still here at 3,500,000. At three million five hundred thousand. On my left, at three million five hundred thousand dollars now. At three million five, and selling at three million five hundred thousand. At three million five hundred thousand dollars. Three million six hundred thousand is bid in the room in, with a new bidder at three million six hundred thousand. Three million seven hundred thousand. At three million seven against you now at three million seven hundred thousand dollars. Could be eight, sir. At three million seven hundred thousand. It's not yours. At three million three million eight hundred thousand. Three million nine hundred thousand dollars now. At three million nine hundred thousand. At three million nine hundred thousand for the stuff built at three nine. At three million nine hundred thousand. Four million dollars now. Four million one hundred thousand. At four million one hundred thousand dollars now. Four one. At four million one hundred thousand. Four million two hundred thousand dollars. It's been at four million two hundred thousand. Four million three hundred thousand. At four million three hundred thousand, four million four hundred thousand, four million five hundred thousand, four million five for the Palermo, four million five hundred thousand dollars, four million six hundred thousand, four million seven hundred thousand, four million seven, at four million seven hundred thousand dollars now, four million seven, four million eight hundred thousand, thank you, five million dollars, thank you very much indeed. We try five million two hundred thousand, sir. At five million, there it is. Five million two hundred thousand. 
at 5,200,000. Further back at 5,200,000. Against you, sir, 5,200,000. Gentleman's bid at 5,200,000. Against you on this side still. At 5,200,000. Gentleman's bid here at 5,200,000. It's against you on this side at $5,200,000. At 5,200,000. For the Palema, very rare thing. It's your last chance, sir. At 5,200,000. There it goes. Thank you anyway for your bids. At 5,200,000. Gentlemen seated in the room, all in the room, and selling at $5,200,000. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you. Paddle double two, four, six. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. And we move on to lot number 116, of course. Jean-Michel Basquiat's monumental Now's the Time, one of the artist's most iconic and radical masterworks, paying homage to the jazz legend that is Charlie Parker, property from the collection of Peter Brandt, acrylic and all stick on wood, executed in 1985, showing for you on the screens, of course, and welcome you at Sotheby's this evening as well. We've had a great privilege of handling this picture in our galleries. Wonderfully startling object, fabulous, fabulous thing. And I'm going to start the bidding here at $23 million, at $23 million, $23 million, $500,000, $24 million now, $24 million, $24 million, $500,000, $24 million, $500,000, $25 million now, at $25 million, at $25 million, $500,000, it's bid on my left here, with David Schrader at $25 million, $500,000. It's yours at the moment, David, at $25 million, $500,000. Thank you, at $25,500,000. David Schrader's bidder at $25,500,000. On my left, it's here, at $25,500,000. Thank you very much, at $25,500,000. For the Basquiat, at $25,500,000. Now's the time, at $25,500,000. It's with you, David, at this stage. On my left, at $25,500,000. At $25,500,000, still with you, David, at $25,500,000. And we're selling it at $25,500,000 here for the basket. At $25,500,000, still yours, sir. At $25,500,000, last chance now. And selling here for the basket at $25,500,000. Now's the time, David. It's your bid and selling for $25,500,000. Congratulations, thank you. It's panel number 315. And lot number 117 is the, uh, the Keith Herring, the untitled, from 1982, and starting here at 1,500,000, 1,600,000, 1,700,000, 1,800,000 now, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000,
is Courtney's bidder and can sell it at 7,500,000. Thank you, Courtney. It's with you still. Anybody else? It's 7,500,000. Is that a bid, sir? It's $7,500,000. At 7,500,000, still with Courtney Kramer's. Fair warning to you all now. Last chance against you on this side. Fair warning at $7,500,000. Courtney, it's yours. Thank you. 75. L063. Thank you very much indeed. Please thank your bidder as well. Thank you. And lot number 119 is the, uh, the Jeff Coons, the Swan Inflatable from 2011 to 2015, numbered one of three. And I'm starting the bidding here at, um, at 1,700,000, 1,800,000, 1,900,000 now, $1,900,000. And one million nine. Two million dollars. Thank you, Alex. A two million dollars here. A two million dollars. Two million two ahead of you, Barmy. A two million two. If you want it, you have to say three. A two million two hundred thousand. Two million three hundred thousand. Thank you, Barmy. A two three. And again, ahead of you again, David here, at two million three hundred thousand dollars. On my right, two three. Want to say four? Sure. At two million three hundred thousand dollars. It's Barmy's better at two million three. Alex, not yours either. At two million three hundred thousand. Selling it here. Fair warning. At two million, two million three hundred fifty. Of course, Gregoire. Two million three fifty. Two four. At two four. Give me fifty. Barmy's bidder at the moment at two million four hundred thousand. Two four fifty. Two five. Want to try 50? Greg? At 2 million 5. Want to try 550? No. At 2 million 5, there it is. Barmy is your bid. Thank you. And selling. Fair warning now. At 2 million 500,000 dollars. Thank you. It's a panel number 349. At 2 million 5. And lot number 120, further work here by Jean-Michel Basquiat, again from the property of the collection of Peter Brandt, of course, esteemed uh, Basquiat collector, Warhol collector, amongst many other artists. From 1982 here, the old stick on paper. And I'm going to start the bidding here. At 1,600,000, 1,700,000, 1,800,000, 1,900,000 now. At $1,900,000. At $1,900,000. One nine. At one million nine, two million dollars. Thank you, Lisa. At two million, two million one hundred thousand. Thank you, Gregoire. Against the two of you here, at two million one hundred thousand dollars. Lisa, next bit, two million two hundred thousand. At two million two, say three, sir. At two million two hundred thousand. Still with Lisa Dennison at two million two hundred thousand dollars. At two million two hundred thousand. Try three. At two million two hundred thousand. Lisa, it's your bid. At two million two hundred thousand. Looking for three from you, Gregoire, please. At two million two hundred thousand. Here it is. Two million three. Is it a new place? Thank you, Brad. At two three now. 2.3 million, are you bidding there? 2 million 300,000, still with you here, Brad, at 2.3. At 2 million 300,000, any more, at 2 million 3. 2 million 350,000 dollars here. 2 million 350. Guess you, Brad, again, at 2 million 350,000. You out, sir. At 2 million 350,000, 2 million 4 now. Lisa, give me 50. 2 million 450, thank you. I need 5 from you, please, Brad. At two million four fifty, unless it's coming from this side, at two million four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Two million five. It's in a new place. Thank you, David. At two million five hundred thousand. For the basket, at two million five. All three of you on the front row here. Two million five hundred and fifty thousand. Someone want to join the party on the front row, Lucius, Carly? How about it? <laughs> at two million five hundred and fifty thousand. It's like a battalion of bidders on this front row here, isn't it? It's fantastic. At two million five hundred and fifty thousand. Kelsey, what about you? At two million five hundred, next one. Okay, fair enough. At two million five, I think Simon's warming up for the next one too. At two million five fifty. At two million five hundred fifty, we're going to sell. Fair warning now and selling at two million five hundred fifty. Two six is bid against you now. At two million six hundred thousand. Two six. Brad, give me fifty. You out, sir? Not yet. I didn't think so. Give me fifty. Two million six against you now. Two million six. Try seven, maybe. Seven hundred fifty. Two million six hundred fifty. Lisa. At two million six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Two six fifty. Two seven. Two seven. Thank you so much. At two million seven. 
with Lisa Denison at two million seven. Brad. At two seven. We're saying fifty now. Two million seven hundred thousand against you here. It's Lisa's bidder. At two million seven hundred thousand. I want to sell it. At two million seven hundred thousand against you, Brad. The hammer is coming up here. Fair warning now. At two million seven hundred thousand dollars. It's Lisa's bidder. Thank you, Brad. Fair warning. Lisa. Thank you very much. 313, congratulations, thank you. Thank you. Lot number 121, the Lucio Fontana, the art of giving. Here it is, property from the collection of Jan Schrem and Maria Minetti Schrem, sold to uh, benefit charitable purposes, supporting the arts, music, and medical research. We're thrilled, obviously, to handle this work, as we did the uh, property, including the wonderful Picasso and the Dominguez that we sold here. On Tuesday evening, this time the uh, Fontana from 1968, the water painter on canvas. And I'm going to be starting here at 1,400,000, 1,500,000, 1,600,000, 1,600,000, 1,700,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,800,000, 1,
Thank you. And uh, we're going to start the bidding here for the wool at $500,000. $500,000. $500,000. $550,000. $550,000. $550,000. $600,000, $650,000. At $650,000 here for the world, $650,000. At $650,000. Any more? $650,000. At $650,000. For the Chris Wallet, $650,000. Anybody else? $650,000. $700,000. Thank you, Ottilie. It's $700,000. It's your bid at $700,000. With Ottilie Windsor, at $700,000. Here it is, 700,000, it's your bid. I'm gonna sell it at 700,000 against you, Olivier, $700,000. Fair warning, at 700,000 against you, Alex, too. With Ottilie Windsor here, head of our European private sales operation, Ottilie here, based in London, at $700,000. Anyone else? You bidding, Lucius? No? Just looking expectant. You're going to dinner or something. At 700,000, here it is, fair warning, at $700,000. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ottilie. It's panel number 235. And we move on. Uh, lot number 126 has been withdrawn. We move to lot 127, which, of course, is the Ellsworth Kelly, the white form on black. Thank you, the honor canvas on two joint panels um, from 2015. And I'm going to start the bidding here at, um, at 1 million, 1, 1 million, 2, 1 million, 300,000, 1 million, 3, 1 million, 400,000 now, 1 million, 4, 1 million, 500,000. It's Barmy's bidder, 1 million, 500,000. Thank you, Barmy, 1 million, 500,000 dollars. Your bid, sir. At one million five hundred thousand dollars. One million six is Stefano Marini against you now. One million six, give me seven. At one million six hundred thousand dollars. Thank you, Stefano. One million six hundred thousand. Barmy. Wanna give me seven? At one million six hundred thousand dollars. At one million six hundred thousand. Against you, sir. One million six hundred thousand. One million seven is bit. Thank you. Thank you, Barmy. One million seven. Against you, Stefano. Give me eight, please. One million eight. At one million eight hundred thousand. Barmy, next bit's gonna be nine. One million nine. At one million eight hundred thousand dollars, still with Stefano uh, and your bid, sir. At one million eight hundred thousand dollars, I'm selling it now. Fair warning, Barmy, you out, sir. At one million eight, last chance. At one million eight hundred thousand dollars. Thank you, Stefano. It's pattern number three four four. At one million eight. One hundred twenty eight has been withdrawn, so we move on to lot number one hundred twenty nine, which is the Carl Andre the lead zinc plane. Sold as viewed, showing on the screens for you, and I'm going to start here at 900,000, 950,000, 1 million dollars now, 1 million, 1 million, 100,000, at 1 million, 100,000 dollars, 1 million, 200,000, it was with Gregoire now, 1 million, 200,000, at 1 million, 2, I'm going to sell it, here it is, 1 million, 200,000, fair warning now, it's Greg's bidder, at 1 million, 200,000, last chance here, at 1 million, 200,000 dollars. Thank you, Greg, it's paddle 329 at 1.2 million. And lot number 130 is the Sergio Camargo, the uh, Semtutlo, the relief number 2152, property from a private collection sold in benefit of Museo Vesaros in Rio de Janeiro. And I'm going to start the bidding here at, uh, at $850,000. At 850000 900000 now. At 900000 950000 At $950,000. At 950000 $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $950, $
on my left and selling here at $700,000 with Mercedes at $700,000. At $700,000 here for the last lot of this evening's seller, $700,000, $750,000. And it's better this time at $750,000. And against you, Mercedes, at $750,000. Give me $800,000, please. At $750,000. Against you, Mercedes, say one more. One short step to $800,000. At 750,000, still here, it's Anna's bidder at 750,000. You out? 750,000. Fair warning, and selling here. The last slot of this evening's sale at 750,000. It's against you all here on this side, and against you, Mercedes. I'm selling it to Anna. Congratulations. Here it goes. 750,000. Thank you very much indeed. Congratulations. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Anna, can I see your, your number? Can I see your paddle? Sorry, Simon, can you? 0058. Thank you so much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that brings tonight's auction to a close. We hope very, very much that you will join us again tomorrow for the Contemporary Day Auction beginning at 10 a.m., which will conclude this fantastic week of sales. The auction features more exceptional works from renowned collectors, including further works in the collection of legendary record executive Mo Austin, and much, much more. We hope you have a wonderful evening. We look forward also to welcoming you to our London showroom for our major evening auction on the 27th of June. And stay tuned for upcoming announcements. Many thanks.